Ethereum is testing a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. We are nearing 1500 Telegram members. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of my charts and my trades, make sure to check out the link in the bio. It is absolutely Hey guys, Charts here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see on Ethereum, we are testing a very key support level here with our exponential moving averages. We saw, of course, the fact that Ethereum had a beautiful liquidity grab hitting back into that 3663 zone. And of course, now the fact that we are rejecting once again, I have mentioned this to you guys many times, we are currently looking for scenario A to play out. For those of you that are new to the channel, scenario A, of course, was seen in 2021 on the daily time frame where we had the exact same formation play out on Ethereum before. You can see that we had the rejection of 4028 down to over the uh, $3,000 range right here with this beautiful wick. We had a pullback and then the continuation to 2800. This is what I'm paying attention to as of right now of course this is all dependent on the exponential moving averages breaking this friday we do have jerome powell speaking again so i'm expecting quite a bit of more volatility here but all eyes remain on these exponential moving averages on the four hour time frame if we end up losing these emas and retesting them as resistance this m formation is most likely to play out and this is something i'm going to be keeping a very close eye on of course from a bullish case if the bulls can somehow manage to break back above the resistance level here at 3683 and use that level as support then that would be the invalidation zone but as of right now things are not looking good from a bullish perspective not only are we in overbought territory but as well as the fact you can see we have multiple rejection candlesticks hitting that 36 to 83 zone as well as the fact the more times these ema levels are tested the higher chances of them breaking we also of course have this beautiful m formation looking to play out as well so that's multiple bearish scenarios we have it as of right now so all everything pretty much just depends on the emas once the emas break we don't necessarily want to enter exactly on the break what we want to do is wait for the retest as resistance and that's going to be the confirmation that we are now looking for that shorting opportunity into that twenty eight hundred dollar zone now i get this question a lot is what happens at the twenty eight hundred dollar level well that is probably going to be the main area where i'm going to be looking to buy a ton of altcoins as well as the fact that because ethereum ends up dropping we're going to see a lot of corrective moves across the board that's going to be your buying opportunity on a lot of your favorite alts so just keep an eye on that of course if we end up breaking below 2800 we may even see a wick down to 26 or 25 but as of right now that's going to be the play we want to play it out for but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus make sure to check out the link in the bio